Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa and welcome to all my new subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the second half to my project share using these beautiful products from Globeland. So stay tuned and let's get started. Hey guys, so first of all, I just want to thank Globeland for sending me these beautiful products and sponsoring this video. Their website will be in the description below as well as all the product links. And I just want to let you know their website is expanding. They now have tools such as like this acrylic block. So if you want to check that out, they are adding more and more to their website. I just um, checked it the other day. So let's move this camera down here. And let's see if I can get this right. Let's do that again. <laughs> and um, all right. So these are the products I am reviewing today. This is the set of four uh, flower dyes. So you got this one right here, this beautiful flower bouquet. You got this one here. Almost looks like a little great set of grapes, a little bunch of grapes, set of grapes, bunch of grapes. And you have this one right here. And this is my favorite one, and you'll see why in a minute. So there you go. So that is a whole set. Okie dokie. And then we're doing these beautiful wave stamps. So beautiful. I really, really enjoyed using these. Hold on. Let me just get this white piece of paper so you can see them properly. All right. So there you go. Beautiful. And last but not least, we got this set of beautiful flower stamps. Alrighty, with a little basket and all that. Alright, so all that is in the description, all the links. And, alright, so let's move this out of the way. Alright. So first project, I use the wave stamps. And you got six of them, six different um, styles of waves, which is very, very cool. All right, and hold on. I just, since I didn't use all of them, okay, I just stamped all of them out for you. So, and I'm sorry, it's a little sloppy, but I just wanted to try to fit it all in one sheet. So here are all the different styles of waves. So you have a lot of variety, and then these are really, really cool. I just found them to be very unique. I really enjoyed using them. All right, so that's all the stamps stamped out. And here is my first project. I was just being really crazy, almost like street art, graffiti. This is really cool. And I did use some other stamps. If you see that jellyfish right there and the starfish right there. Sorry, my camera just went out of focus. I think the glitter is like making it out of focus. But here I just used the stamps. I cut them out as a trim. I used some distress uh, oxide spray. I use some Nouveau in this beautiful aqua color and I also use this more stormier gray in the Nouveau mica sprays as well and some glitter paper. And on the inside I actually distress the edges and I also use one of the stamps as a trim on the edge of the card. Sorry hopefully my camera goes back into focus but yes so that is that card. I really enjoyed doing that one. That was a lot of fun. And I also made a quick little tag using one of these. And here my camera just fixed itself a little bit. And see there's a little tag. And I colored the stamp in. Even though it's a small uh, stamp, it actually has more than enough room to color in. I used some of my Nouveau uh, Aquaflow markers and some alcohol markers as well. And that is the first project with the first uh, set of stamps. And here they all are again, all stamped out. Okie dokie. So next up is the set of flower stamps. And again, I stamped it all out for you guys because of course I didn't use all of the stamps, but I want you still to see not just them in their packaging, but stamped out. So that's how they came out. Very, very pretty stamps. I love them. And I used some of these 
June 6 inks. I believe I got from AliExpress a while ago, and they're still good. Very nice. I love them. Very, very pretty. All right, so I used the, the flower stamps mixed with the flower dies, okay? And I did use all of the dies. So the first card right here, I think the papers I used was Tonic Studio and also uh, Echo Park. And here is that uh, die right there. And I used uh, it on both sides of the card. And I also used that flower bouquet die. So here that is, that pretty striped pink paper and the glittery paper from Tonic Studios. And on the inside, that beautiful green paper with the flowers in the back. And now I use that die. I used it that way and then it cut out the paper in such a way where now you have like a little tuck spot. And I also used um, that die again on the other side. And now you can just fit a little tag in there or some stickers or a little extra note or something like that. So that is how that card came out. And I love that pink striped paper, very summery and flowery and it goes perfectly with the dyes. Okie dokie. So let's put that down. And the next project is I love this I love that die so I did stamp out and I popped it up on some pop dots the basket die uh, stamp right there I of course colored it in with my aqua flow markers and yeah so it came out really really nice and then I cut out the stamp and so I used that is my favorite die out of this set over there and then another one on the bottom and I love how all the little flowers pop up. And I also used the other stamp with love. And on the inside, it did something a little different. Here is the die again, the flower bouquet die. And I made little like almost like thought bubbles. I was thinking so you can write a message going all the way down, like little thought bubbles. So I thought that was a really cute idea. So yeah, you could write your message starting from the top, going there, and going all the way down. So I thought that was a little different. I used a die from another set I had. And yeah, I really, really love that um, die. So pretty. And I was actually surprised that those little pieces popped up. And yes, you can use that die picker. That, that tool saved my life because all the little pieces really, really helped. And it helped pop up those uh, flower petals. So that is my um project share and i just love the way this came out and i am so happy with everything okay guys that is it for today thank you so much for watching i surely appreciate it. i hope you enjoyed my project share let me get this camera again focused up here so thanks again to you guys for watching and to globe land for sponsoring the video and please don't forget to subscribe give me a like and share the video so you never miss another video and i will see you in the next one bye